Finding jobs as a web dev, especially if you are starting out, can feel like trying to climb a wall that looks a bit too high, I guess. Some people are wasting entire years of their lives trying to land such a job and most are still well trying. What I found to be some of their main worries are first, lack of experience, which is, let's say, understandable, logically speaking, because in order to get hired as a web dev, you need to know what you are doing so you can be of value. We're going to talk about this in a second. Secondly, is the infamous degree, specifically a computer science degree. So if you want to learn code so you can land a high paying job all while working remotely, then this video is going to help you massively. So let's start with the first point, experience or lack thereof. Of course, being a complete beginner with absolutely rock bottom knowledge about web dev won't get you too far. The truth is that you need to have some degree of experience, but you absolutely don't need to score a 200 IQ test like Vitalik Buterin does. But you need to differentiate between experience in general and commercial experience. The only thing you can maximize in your bedroom while coding is overall experience. Commercial experience means you got paid for your work either freelancing or in a job. General experience is not hard to get, actually is the main reason why you need to build a portfolio. What? To practice skills, to learn skills and to gain experience and proof of experience. That's why you hear me telling in most of my videos work on an app for six months because that's going to get you experience. And many of my students are completely astonished when I show them the exact roadmap that they need to follow in terms of like technicalities and whatnot in order to learn the necessary skills to land a web dev job and be successful in it. What employers want from a junior is trust. Trust that you can help the senior dev. Trust that you can support them and do the boring, tedious work while seniors architect and build more complex parts of an application. This is why mastering software fundamentals is absolutely key in getting hired in your dream web dev job is because it lets employers see that you are well prepared with a good foundation pool of skills, good debugging skills, communication, it gives them permission to be able to add specific training inside that company for you so you can easily adapt those foundational skills to their specific needs or way of working. And knowing this is pure cold if you really think about it, because it takes off the pressure of yourself thinking you need to learn everything, load balancers, Redis database, GraphQL, Next.js, Node.js, Golang, Docker, Kubernetes, and other tech that's out there to just get a simple web dev job. When I was making music, I spent hours learning music theory, even though my other producer friends called me stupid for it. Why? Because the basics and fundamentals are the most important. Imagine calling yourself a musician, but not knowing what the melodic minor scale is. Or imagine calling yourself a painter, but you don't know complementary colors. That would be outrageous. So please do yourself a favor and open your eyes to what I already said. You are going to have a better sleep knowing this. Trust me, mastering the right tools that I show my students will guide you through programming. It's exactly what you might need to get the boost you require to get hired as a web dev. The second thing I need to talk to you about is the well-renowned green reaper of getting hired as a web dev, the CS degree. Now you have to understand that companies will get you hired only if you show them on the table the CS degree. That's why most of the companies will tell you that you need to always carry the degree with you in your backpack and keep it on the working desk from Monday to Friday. And sometimes on Saturdays, if the team leaders wake up and calls you to send a WhatsApp message with it to be sure you are do your dog didn't eat it. Of course you don't need a degree. Of course you don't need a degree in order to get hired as a web dev. You simply don't. That used to be the case in the early 2000s, but please realize that the degree has no real value. And many of the times what's written on that degree has no real representation of the skills that one person can have. This is very important. Even C's get degrees. The 10 greatest or most famous self-taught programmers of all time are Ada Lovelace, Steve Wozniak, Margaret Hamilton, Grace Hopper, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, Jack Dorsey, none of these guys had degrees. And companies like Google, Facebook or Twitter are hiring self-taught developers and no longer require you to have a CS degree in order to hire. Imagine proving to the interviewer that you are very intelligent and an adaptive person that would help a company increase their productivity and earnings massively and the reason they won't hire you is because you don't have a bullshit degree. Not in a million years they would miss on such opportunity. 
they would instantly throw the hiring papers in front of you and force you, they'll grab you by the neck to sign so you can be part of their company and pay you big money for it. Now please, having a degree can help and for sure won't make any harm at all, but it's no longer a must to get a high paying web dev job. Please let that sink in because it can be a big deal of impairment in your confidence that might drag you down if you are on your journey to get hired as a web dev. The truth is that what's 100 times more important than having a degree is having a catchy portfolio that will turn on the light switch in the mind of your potential employer and make them realize that you are the real deal that you are going to be bringing value to their company by knowing how to write simple but high quality code. Never have I been asked about a degree in my entire career. People care about experience and what they mean by that is can you help me make more money than I pay you? Let me ask you this, knowing this, do you feel more confident about getting hired as a web dev? I hope the answer is yes because the real life truth of getting hired as a highly paid web dev in the tech industry and having a job that's safe from automation or AI, especially with all the statistics that are pointing out that web development is going to be a core part of many, many industries, including the financial and even medical work. And all this must be done by real human programmers. Okay, do not believe all that current not so proven theories that web dev jobs will be replaced by AI or other automation conspiracy theories because the current financial structure requires humans to sustain itself at least for the next 20 to 30 years. Tech is here to stay and the tech industry is going to keep growing and eventually almost all industries will be automated in one way or another. And if that happens, the need for developers will be growing. I hope I put your mind at ease and grew your confidence in yourself a little bit. If that's the case and feel like what I'm talking here about learning the right technical skills and interviewing skills to get hired on a web dev job, then feel free to schedule a free consultation call with me to see how and if I can even help you. One more thing, just to make it clear for you. This consultation is for someone that is serious about learning the skill and getting hired in tech as a web developer and wants to be making 80K a year or more all while working remotely. If that's you, you'll have a hell of a time working together with me. I'll see you until the next one. Peace.